Honey, hello, it's me. I'm back. I've returned. At least to those of you who just saw me moments prior, who came out of Valheim, I had some extra time on my schedule for the week. And I had some time tonight. So I thought, why not? Why not stream again? Once more, back into the fray. <laughs> Replaying Age of Empires 4. Um, it's a game I actually haven't played. I mean, I played the beta or whatever, whenever they went through the open beta testing thing years ago. Um, so this is basically my first time playing. I have been a long time fan of this series. Uh, my first historical strategy game that I ever played was Age of Empires 2. Age of Kings and I have fond memories of just like making all kinds of like custom maps and things and I was a dumb kid and I mean to my credit you know my school uh out in the middle of nowhere rural America you know uh and I was just just a small kid like I I didn't really receive a whole lot of history education until later on <coughs> until later so when I first played this game as a kid, I thought it was a fantasy game. <laughs> and then imagine my surprise as I learned like, oh, actually, it's history. So and that was where it started for me, where I developed that interest was uh, as this game. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and supposedly the fourth game is uh, Instead of like advancing through even farther in the timeline like the others have, this one actually is supposed to be like more of a tribute to the second game. This is like a setback in medieval Europe, so yeah. I also am noticing my chat box is not working properly, is it? Because we had one message come in there um, before the intro, and I don't see it here why what's the deal i'm glad that at least one of you were bold enough bold enough to test my chat box sometimes you catch me <laughs> sometimes you get me let's see here i think i know what the issue is if i do that haha there you are, crispy bacon. There you are. Uh huh. It's really strange. Sometimes the resolution of the chat box is like the issue, and I have to change it by one pixel and then change it back. And then it's there. I don't know what that's all about, but hey. If I find a way to make things work, then. Awesome. I should also mention, this game took me by surprise while I was setting it up for the stream because as soon as I booted the game, it started playing the game. Like it went straight into the tutorial with the intro and the... so I apologize that I wasn't able to show that on stream, but I honestly was not expecting the game to just go straight into the first mission without even a main menu. So. <laughs> If you're wondering, like, where the hell we are? We're at the beginning of this tutorial. I didn't have any choice in the matter. We're just here. Um. All right. And I see my Discord bot was not confused. Good. Good bot. That's a good bot. I always wonder, like, if I do multiple streams in a day, if it'll, like, freak it out. Okay, you guys. The other thing I'm a little worried about, because this is a Microsoft game and I don't know how to do things these days. My Microsoft account, you know, I got I got to hand over my panic button just in case we we get we we run into some account shit, but I don't think we will. Okay, let's go to the game. Boom. That musical timing, that sweet, 
delicious, delectable musical timing. <laughs> With um, a new settlement established, ah! the first priority was locating a reliable food source. You see the how... simplest source was gathering from nature. Hold on, lady. Wait. Hold. Hold your fire. I need to move my chat box. Okay. You guys are in a weird place. And by weird place, I mean not next to me. You know I'm clingy. I need you. Get over here. There. Okay. Better. Oh, the, is this not a WASDA? I gotta use arrow keys? Oh. Okay. We need to get food, honey. We need food. We need food. Let's go get food. So it looks like we're starting as England, I think. I don't know. I have also been thinking about um, cutting my chat box a little more. The Discord thing, I think, takes up a lot of space. You know? Is it really important to know? I feel like you guys are smart enough to know that I have a Discord at this point. <laughs> oh. Getting the berries. They're blue though. I want to be red. With a healthy supply of food, the village could start to grow. To do so, it would need more hands to share the work. Why is it? Why is she telling the telling it like it's a story? Like, I guess I understand why. Because it's a historical game. They really want to emphasize it. But I'm so used to, like, you know, the Scottish guy being, like, very in the moment. Good! You found some food! <laughs> now they're like, and then they did this. And then they did that. <laughs> okay. Can I shift click to do? Okay. Shift click, we make five. Cool. The only UI element that you guys are missing out on is the mini map, but you don't need to see that. It's fine. Only I need to see that. Right? Huh? Oh, it's the same sound. I love that they preserve the original sound. The shh. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Quetta, meta. Go there. Abendende. What if I just set them onto the food? Would they go? Achafara. I'm assuming that they're speaking like old, the old new English, huh? Could now turn to the growing village's needs. First, they would build a mill near their food source. Hello, so villagers could drop off gathered berries more easily. Oh my God! Hello, hi. How are you, honey? How are you? To build a mill, a left close likes a villager and do that. Okay. You're gonna build this. Oh, look at him go. Look, it's like a time lapse kind of deal, huh? Oh. <sighs> you're good. I'm glad you're good. <laughs> Hello, good. I'm so car. <laughs> Gather wood. I need wood. I hope the volume's okay. I feel like, yeah, it's good. That's great. Hester's. Put all those berries away. We don't need berries Get right now. We, we need wood, honey. Yeah, oh, I love this. Oh, that's some ASMR wood cutting. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 
I like how they chopped the trees down first. Just like in the original. And don't just hack at it and wood comes out of the bark. <laughs> the growing community now had a steady supply of lumber. To make wood collection easier, villagers could erect a lumber camp near the forest. They could erect... Could they? I keep wanting to WASDA, but I can't WASDA in this game. I need to get used to using my mouse, huh? But then I might mouse out of the window. This is kind of complicated to stream, isn't it? I gotta have pretty good mouse discipline. <laughs> Build a lumber camp! Okay, you guys? You're gonna make this. Work Kende. Yeah, yeah. Work Kende. Also, hello, Thorn. Dog. I can't remember if I said hello, but hi. Thanks to the camp, villagers no longer needed to travel as far to drop off lumber. Isn't that the wonderful? Village now can we rotate? Additional houses to support its growing population. Oh, I can rotate. Rotate. Build houses. Sup, the sky. <laughs> Yaru. Okay, we need three houses. You people need to build houses. It's time for house, house, house. Okay. What are you doing? Wait, did I just cue actions? Wait. It's been a while. I thought they would immediately do it if I shift clicked, but I guess not. Whoa! Is there like a key, a hot key I can use to rotate the map, honey? Is there? Oh, there, I found it. They got little chickens. Got little chickens in the front of their home. With additional housing in place, even more villagers could join the workforce. But a populous village would soon exhaust the natural food sources. To grow, the community needed dedicated farms. Oh. The sanctuary requires more farms. Okay. Well, time to make some farms. We need three farms. You are gonna make farms, okay? Boom, boom, boom. That seems quite a bit faster than like, than like the farms I remember in Age of Empires 2. Woodsmen and farmers now kept the village well supplied. That's cool. They actually Further growth required knowing the countryside it, huh? and finding more resources. For that, communities employed scouts. I remember like in the in the old age of empires, they would just kind of kind of pick at the ground and nothing would change. But now they actually harvest the wheat, huh? Produce the scow from the scow of the town center. There. Make a scow from the town center? Oh. Able to move quickly and see great distances, scouts were key to discovering new resources. The most important thing for a scout to locate was a ready source of gold. Was it? Okay. Looking for gold. Looking for gold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I found some. I found a gold. 
To prevent having to haul ore large distances, expanding communities would establish a mining camp near the source of gold. Ah. It's like you're passive aggressively telling me what to do, you know? It's like competent people would, they would have done this. <laughs> you don't have to, but you know, this is what people did do. Work hard. <laughs> the style of narration is so funny to me. Yaru. Is there an auto? I don't think there is. I think, I think Age of Empires 3 had an auto explore. This one is just like the old days. Oh. What's that? Yes, is a wall. Go a well-placed camp ensured efficient gold mining. I see. Whoa, they're like, they're mining in unison. It makes me think of that scene in Frozen. <laughs> I'm like picking at the ice. With a good supply of gold, the village was becoming a large town. A large town? I don't know. It looked pretty small. The signpost of this growth would be the construction of a large landmark. A large landmark. Like what? Build a landmark, select a villager. Eh? Yeah. Do we have any idle villagers? Where's the idle button? I remember it was over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I for idle? No? Maybe there's just no one idle. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I think we have a lot of wood. I think we're good. So, oh, I see. So to advance to the next age, you have to actually build a wonder. Ooh. I see. I want more workers. Back in my day, you had to collect 500 food and click on a technology. bad habit of like immediately my my left hand wants to rest on WASD. <laughs> Play too many other games. With the landmark in place, the once sleepy village announced itself as a thriving feudal township. The townsfolk had been driven from their homes before, however. This time they would defend themselves. Why can't the subtitles be lower and smaller? The first step would be constructing a barracks for infantry. Okay. Barracks. Okay. Oh. I know this track. Oh. Ah. They like reorchestrated one of the original soundtracks. Once like it they... had a barracks, the town could have Hold on. Hold on. Your voice is a little loud. And I want to hear the rest of the game. Okay? Okay. It's a standing force of soldiers. Ah! <laughs> Lower. Lower. We'll do 69. 69. 
Okay. Simple infantry men armed with spears. Why are you so fucking loud, lady? Why? It's crazy. We're a common choice for these There nations. we go. There, now we can hear the other sounds and the music. Did I win yet? No. I just started the tutorial. What do you think? Of course not. We we need testers come Yeah, each a winner. I need ten. What has done the fact? Yes, sir. But um, but yeah. It's interesting to hear like some of the melodies from the old game. I think I should move them like out there. Get out in the open where I can see you. I won't be able to see you. Will you like march in formation like the original too? Yay! Oh, they have like a cloud of dust behind them. I remember like if you had like a mixed army of infantry and cavalry, the cavalry would just like go really slow. <laughs> You'd like run in slow motion, especially like if you had like a catapult behind them or something. The town now had a militia and could look to reclaim the lands lost to invasion. Yay! Men with the invaders sticks. had blocked the road north with a stout palisade. We have pointy Although spears sticks. were of little use against these walls. The militia could burn down the obstacle with torches. What do you mean? Wait. Did they change that? Oh, one of the like running jokes of Age of Empires, right? Was that like the units would hack, they'd just like hit the structures with their weapons and then they would like ignite. <laughs> so now do they actually throw torches? They don't, they don't just whack at it. Oh, but I miss it. But I miss the meme. I miss the meme of uh, hitting farms with swords and then watching them catch on fire. <laughs> Burn it! Destroy it! Sure enough, they do. Wow. They even like have a guy that's shouting out orders like wind to fire. <laughs> you guys are so much smarter than back in the 90s, honey. With the road open, <laughs> the militia could now reclaim their lands in the north. Back in my day, they were much dumber. Okay. First, the spearmen had to deal with a lone sentry. Use attack move. Go there! Go there! Oh no, you're about to get fucked up! <laughs> they actually cheer. aggressively. The militia eliminated the enemy sentry. I love that for them. They're so happy when they kill. The road, but the militia <laughs> was ready to attack. They're so happy whenever they whenever they kill the enemies. They're like, yeah, we did it. Okay. Garu Astiga. You can hear them like having small talk or something amongst themselves, I don't know. Get 
Caramba! Oh, look at him use torches. Spears were highly effective against cavalry, <laughs> allowing the militia to win the day. All that remained was to destroy the invaders' stables. Well, that's cool, I guess. We need, like, perfect audio balancing, though, honey. We need to turn down the sound effects a little bit. Okay. We'll keep burning. Come on. Continue burning. Yeah, we burned the thing. Woo! The invaders' cavalry post was destroyed. But other enemy positions awaited further up the road. Hostile archers defended the next camp, which would put spearmen at a disadvantage. Okay. The township needed cavalry of its own to deal with this, and so would need to build stables. To deploy that cavalry quickly, the town needed to build their stables near the front lines. I see. Oh, they do have an idle button over here. Fortunately, friendly villagers came out of hiding and joined the effort. Oh. Fortunately, there were three just, you know, just waiting out there in the wilderness. How convenient. I feel like I'm, like, with, uh, with, like, a Dungeons and Dragons, you know? Like, uh... You know, with 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 like a with a with a dungeon master who's just like, fortunately, this thing came along. You know, <laughs> the 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 one that's always always writing inconvenient plot lines. Okay, stable here. You even built a horse. That's crazy. We need two of them. I can't read. We need more wood as well. What are you guys doing? Standing around. Get to chopping. Chop, chop. Come on. We don't have all day. Get over there. Get that wood. It's not going to chop itself. They're all piling in on the same thing. <laughs> Except for this guy. He wants his own tree. Do have like technologies? No? Maybe. Maybe later. Okay. They even did the thing like uh, in Warcraft 3. As you chop the trees down, you can see like the exposed like roots and stuff beneath them. They did that in this game, that's kind of cool. Okay. And yes, I played that game as well. And yes, I really want to play the... The... Remaster or whatever. Go to destroy that. They still have a thing. We can't allow them to have with stables in place. Anything. Town could field horsemen of its own. Get out of the way. We need 15 horsemen. Five, ten, fifteen. 
Oh, even the villagers got torches. Look at that. That's not quite... It's not quite as satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's not like it used to be. Well... <laughs> I guess they still do. It's... I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to set the rally point, didn't I? Well, they can't help themselves. They really want to see that farm burned. Oh, you can double click? Wow. I should have done that. What else is over here? What do they got? Nothing. What is this? It's a house. It's just like a neutral house, huh? Oh, look at these little men. Look at them. Oh. Now oh. had a rapid light cavalry skilled at harassing slower targets, such as archers. It really does feel like I'm being led by a DM that is just treating me like I'm five. <laughs> They sure did, and that's what they're doing. <laughs> yup. Man, I really miss. Uh, I really miss. <laughs> I miss the Scottish man. I really miss the Scottish man. Good. The English are attacking. <laughs> you know, he gets so into the role. First, they needed to build archery ranges in the area regained from the invaders. This lady is just like. She's reading it in the same tone. That is like. Fuck it all. Remember, take one dose of fuck it all every morning. Like. <laughs> uh, ask her, talk to her. If fuck it all is right for you. <laughs> you know, like one of those commercials. <laughs> oh. A Scottish man here. I make for a poor replacement, but I am here. <laughs> Where's my villagers? My spearmen should probably like. What are you guys doing? We do have a scout for this somewhere. Like, you should be doing that. Come back. We even got like, look at look at the water. It looks so much better. 
in my mind, I'm just comparing everything to Age of Empires 2. <laughs> With several archery ranges in place, the town could add longbowmen to its forces. It sure could. Get out of the way! Okay. We can double click and then. Boom! 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 Twenty long. What are these? <laughs> these two guys just can't make up their mind. They're like, you go over here. I go over there. I go over there. I go over there. <laughs> Get in formation, you fucks! Stop! There you go. What a nice clean formation. Don't be. Don't be playing the hokey pokey. Okay. Cannot produce longbowmen. Build more houses. Uh, hold on. I pressed H out of a weird muscle memory. I have to press. Do they not tell you the hotkeys? I don't know. Back in my day, we had we had hotkeys. I'm sure there are. I just haven't been looking. Let's see. Let's take a look and read a book. Reading Rainbow. Um. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Hmm, I don't know why I'm in graphic settings. That doesn't make much sense at all. Maybe you should go into control, Sokar. Maybe you should. Um. You should probably actually go to here. Okay. Here we go. Building selection. Cycle. No, 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 no. Why? Grid keys? What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Huh? By default, buttons, hockeys are mapped a grid layout. How bizarre. Um. I like how these are bound to F keys, by the way. So uh, I can, like, go through my, my model toggles every time. Are they not... There's not, like, one for building? Does this game not have hotkeys, honey? For, like, building things? That's weird. Really? Huh. How strange. Well... Oh, here we go. Construction menu. There's so many constructibles. Whoa, farm is A? These are weird, you guys. These are pretty weird. I'm not going to mess with all of this. I'll have to do all of that off stream. They chose the weirdest... The weirdest keys. So, like, what? If I press... No, that's attack. I'm so confused. Anyways, we'll do it. We'll... I'll look into hot keys off stream. I don't want to spend forever remapping things. These guys don't even use fire arrows or torches. <laughs> Whoa, there's some tough arrows. Oh, there's some tough arrows. Change mini map size. Whoa. 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 What am I doing? You guys need to go up here. 
because apparently we get a we get an advantage in get a bonus to damage, right? Probably. I don't know if that was a thing in Age of Empires 2, but there's another RTS that I play called A Rise of Nations, where that is a thing. Get up there! Go! Why'd you choose the weird incline to go up there? That's fine. Poised on a cliff top, the longbowman would be protected from an infantry charge. Okay. Are they in a, like, a formation where they can see them all? <laughs> so, they don't know what to do. They're just like, oh! <laughs> I was thinking with my total war brain. The last of the invaders <laughs> fell to the resurgent homegrown population. Now that their lands were free of enemies, the town could take the next step in its growth and become a Because like in Total War, you want to position your archers in like a line formation so you can maximize their, you know. Here too, everyone has equal of line of sight. Landmark would be the signpost of this growth. But they're in a box. They can just shoot through each other in this game. It's fine. Build a landmark, advance to the next age. Okay. What's our space day? Estes Comete. Um, that would be. That's not. Oh, it's this. We need 1200 food. What is this plus icon? I don't know what that means. Stop with the wood. Stop. Put the wood away. We need farms. We need uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Is that? I guess that's all. Okay. I really want. No. Ew! No. Ew! No, it's off center. It's disgusting. Get rid of it. Oh. Okay. There. Better. <laughs> Better. You can't have an off center farm. I could just use them to make the landmark, right? Because they can make it anywhere. We're just waiting. Waiting for them to get the food. Isn't it great though, like Age of Empires and Logic, they don't have to wait for like a harvest season or anything like that. The food just continually comes out of the ground. The White Tower. That sounds like a Lord of the Rings thing. The White Tower. The White Wizard. Wait, this is actually a defensive structure, isn't it? I didn't really read into it. Acts as a keep with all the behaviors, technology, and bonuses. So, I mean, it's just a tutorial, so it doesn't matter. But in a real game, I'd probably want to put this in the, like a, a tactical position. Probably. Oh. 
the building it. Where's my scout, by the way? You're not doing very, very good scouting. <laughs> you should go scout. Where a few lowly refugees had founded a small village, now rose a mighty city. Yay! From there would grow an empire. Oh my god. Oh, that's not the theme. That's not the theme of Age of Empires. It's da 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 da. It's that. Not not whatever the fuck that was. Come on now. Update available. I don't want it. I want to play campaign oh we got the mongols the sultans which i don't have apparently this came out yesterday the hundred years war the rise of moscow and the normans apparently i've played through these this must have been what was available at the beginning, huh? Huh. This one I assume would take place in France. The France. We could do the Hundred Years War. But isn't this the easiest one? I want to do the easiest one. Because I'm new. I am new. So we'd ha we could do this again. But maybe it's not a difficulty thing. What is that? Chivalry. Shock and awe. Are they different? I don't know what that means. Just flavor text. We'll do this. Do the Hundred Years War. There's probably a cutscene, right? Oh, they're opening a book! <gasps> Story time! In 1350, what we know as the idyllic French countryside was a living hell. Feels like I'm in my European history class. <laughs> years, the people had suffered at the hands of English invaders. Little did they know that this war would last for another Hundred years. A hundred years. The Hundred Years the War. Of crucible of fighting, famine, and plague. There would emerge the modern nation of France. Chivalry. England's King Edward III looked jealously across the English Channel. He's jealous. Wanting France for his own, he had added the fleur de lis, the symbol of France to his own royal standard. Oh! All -out you know, I'd always wondered about that. I don't know a lot about and English history. But I knew that the... Invaded. The flag had that at some point. And I was like, huh. Already had a king, Philippe VI. As the English burned their way across the land, Philippe's army and his legendary knights marched to meet them came face to face with the English longbow. Oh no! A simple weapon, but the most devastating the knights had ever faced. The heroes of France fell to storms of English arrows. Oh, how symbolic. I like the ort. I like the ort you went for there. The conflict was focused on Brittany. One fight stands out as a spectacular display of chivalry and a symbol of the wider conflict between the two enemy nations. The combat of the Thirty is still commemorated here in Brittany. Hmm. It was a dispute between two local families. 
supported by the opposing sides in the war, the French and English commanders decided to settle it through a trial of knightly combat. It's kind of cool how they took like uh, modern footage. Each side would choose 30 champions to fight on neutral ground. France prepared to defend itself against England's finest. Combat of the Thirty. The French captain, Jean de Beaumont, would enlist 30 great fighters to defend France's claim to Brittany. On the opposing side, England's fiercest champions represented their king. The two sides would clash in an arena of chivalry. I don't know. Oh, you gotta read the tooltip to combat. <laughs> they cut off the last word, just didn't have enough room. But yeah, Age of Empires was how I first, I first, um, learned history from a video game. Intent on ending the suffering of the French peasantry, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir sent a challenge to the English commander. Thirty champions on each side would compete in a tournament for final claim to Brittany. With the battleground of the halfway oak agreed upon, Sir Jean set out to gather support from local knights. Huh. We must recruit! As a knight himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Okay. Doodly do! Am I going over here? Ha ha ha! I'm here to recruit champion for my army. Oh, I found someone. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, what the hell? Wolves. Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, <laughs> held for sport and glory. I love how she just glosses over that detail and moves on. Between <laughs> opponents mired in war. Oh. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the Never people. mind the pack of of like ten wild wolves that could have altered the course of history forever and ripped the night to shreds. <laughs> sure that I'm sure that happened, right? A historical moment. <laughs> so Jean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. Oh, these guys. Sir Guy. It seems like redundant, right? I understand this is French, but like in English, the word guy, you know, it's like saying man or sir. So Sir Guy. <laughs> says can confirm there were wolves ready to commit some serious butterfly effect shenanigans <laughs> the french knights defeated the english raiders and sir guy de rochefort oh sir guy party 
Is it pronounced Guy? Incontinent. Oh, well, I learned a thing. Looking to secure his honor, a young knight held his ground on a bridge in Sejan's path. Had to win a duel? D -d 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 duel! Get him! Beat him! Come on, I'm on a horse. What are you doing? I love their design, by the way. They got the telltale, you know, long feathers. Honorably conceding defeat in the duel, Sir Yves Charel joined the cause. I see. This is a duel. I see no children's card games. <laughs> Yes, didn't you know? The medieval France. They would play regular duels of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon to decide who would go and who would stay. <laughs> so Jean entered the staging area for the tournament where he prepared to choose which knights would join him in battle. <laughs> the blue eyes we dress. <laughs> Young nobles oh, are yes. training to become knights themselves. Review, encounter. What do you mean? Hmm? They look so fancy. I love them. So fancy, fancy. Select champions. What do you mean, select champion? How? I can't exactly. I guess it's just you guys. Oh, I have to click on these, don't I? Ah, you can't see them because they're behind the chat box. Um, I'll do... I'll do... Guy de Rochefort. Right? How do I... Where are the English, anyway? What are their combatants? Are they... Oh. I don't know what they're sending first. I'll do spearmen, then, because they have lots of cavalry. Right? I need two. Um... Armor. So Jean had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round. Is this of act really? They staged like a tournament to fight for control over the. Over the territory? <laughs> well, if you're coming at me with cavalry, we gotta put you in front. And move you around the back. Right? Well, I didn't expect the cavalry to move like that. I'm surprised. 
at that, but the that worked. The French were at a disadvantage following the first round, but they would use the break to strengthen their forces. Well, those cavalry can move. Again, I was thinking too much like it was Total War. Because like in Total War, they, the horses take a while to speed up and turn. And they don't really move very well in close quarters. What can I do? I didn't know I could research things. What do you mean? Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights return to the arena for another There's round no of combat. way! The combat of the 30 was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. And this is impossible. I don't have the troops. I lost all my spearmen. And this is not gonna happen. How do I use their ability? Oh. I didn't know they were active abilities. I thought they were passive. Now I know. I thought they were passive. That's very different. That we have like hero units in this now. Are they actually managing? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. And that's all my fault. It's all my fault because I didn't know. Rescue your leader. My sword broke in half. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> well then. Are you sure you want to restart? Oh, I have to. I can't exactly. Did it autosave? We'll see where it autosaved. But yeah, um, I'm not super educated on the, like, how the 30, not the 30, the 100 years war. I'm not, like, I don't know how it started. I knew that there was conflict over, um, over mainland Europe. That's very interesting that it started as, like, a tournament. <laughs> oh, so I think my autosave was just a complete restart of of this, huh? We gotta start over. We gotta go get our champions and have the duels, but this time, wait, we don't. We're Each fine. Knight would be accompanied by his squires, young nobles in training to become knights themselves. Hold on, lady. See, now you're too quiet. You're too quiet. Why aren't you, like, balanced better? Why aren't you balanced better? Your audio. Okay. So this time, we're going to get Spearman.
we're going to get our men at arms and we're going to be like actively using these abilities so Jean had selected his champions. instead of the sun rose the two sides and not the arena, <laughs> ready for the first round of combat okay get in there Oh, this only lasts five to 10 seconds. So we want to do it like now. And we have a third one to use for attack speed for 15 seconds. I kind of wish the powers were right here to show their cooldown time. Because I have to cycle through manually to see. It's kind of annoying. But look at that. Claiming an easy victory in the first round, the French champions left the arena to recover their strength. That went much better. And now we can reinforce them with the technology, right? Yeah. Is there anything else we could do? I don't think we can click on anything else. Okay. Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights return to the arena for another round of combat. The combat of the 30 was about to Interesting how the gates open. The um, in Age of Empires 2, the gates would open like vertically. Just kind of rise up. Okay, here we go. In one corner, the French, and in the other, the English. It just makes me want to play Total War <laughs> at some point. We can just watch the armies just clash. I guess you can see them all here. You just have to make sure they're all selected. Huh. Triumphant, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir and his loyal knights claimed victory. The combat of the 30 had decided control of Brittany in favor of the French. Little did the two sides know this was just the beginning of a bitter war that would outlive them all. Tis true. Okay. Continue. Thank you. After victory at the combat of the third I was going to say, I'm probably French more educated on the England's Black Prince. on the Thirty Years War but France's King because that was the one that, like, uh, you know, was the prelude to the formation of the U.S. Charles finally caught the English near the city of Poitiers in September 1356. Bum, 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 bum. The French army outnumbered the English by thousands. King Jean himself joined the fight, but what seemed a certain victory for France soon turned into a nightmare. The English longbow devastated the mighty French army. An endless hail of arrows gutted the main French force. Then the English captured King Jean. The fight was over. I love these cutscenes. The Battle of Poitiers was another catastrophic defeat for the French. <laughs> they really bring me back the to English like high school history class. <laughs> in a single day. Now they turned their attention towards taking the French capital, Paris. I loved movie days. 
I actually paid attention during the documentaries. I loved watching them. The invaders <laughs> marched unopposed towards Paris. The remains of some of the medieval walls of Paris still stand today. Oh, basketball, an ancient French tradition. As the English army approached, <laughs> the terrified locals sought shelter behind these defenses. Could France's capital withstand the full might of the Black Prince's army? Hey, that's pretty cool, though, how they overlay the modern over the... Or the medieval over the modern to like give you an idea of where it was. Like now there's just like residential neighborhoods and shit there. Like <laughs> that's crazy to think about. So much of Europe was was like a battlefield, you know, just throughout history. And there's just new life over it. It's probably something that, like, to a European viewer, they're like, well, of course, so car, duh. But as an American, like, you know, the North American continent, I guess, hmm. Obviously, there's some history there, but, like, there weren't, like, like, nations. The English Black you know? Prince had raided the French countryside without mercy. Castles. And now his army had come for the capital. There are no castles in, in the US. With the English on their doorstep, it fell to the French army and the people of Paris to defend the walls of their proud city. Bum, 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 bum. Hoping to, to avoid defend open Paris. Battle, the French began fortifying the city, manning the walls and calling every available soldier to his post. Can we actually get up on the walls? Oh. Maybe we can. Bring the villagers into Paris. Where are they at? As the French hastened their preparations, several detachments of English soldiers were spotted closing in on the city. Where? Oh. I see. What is it? What does this objective mean? Bring your villagers. Because they're like. Oh, do we have to like. God, this is gonna take forever. Do we have like a town bell? Where's the town bell that goes, you know, bing bong, get the fuck in here. How about that? Bing bong, public service announcement. English invaders, please, come on. Man. Do I actually? We can't just ring any bells and go. We gotta manually look around. You get in here. Uh, you. The English showed no mercy, burning their way to Paris via three routes. Oh my God! Home to villages and farms that supplied the capital. Well, listen, I'm trying to evacuate the people. Come on. Where were? Who's left? Who? 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 Obviously, it's not going to work because they're working, right? So that wouldn't work. Where are they? Where could they be? We got like six more somewhere. Here. What do you mean I failed? You shut up. You shut up. I didn't fail. Look, they're coming in right now. 
Wow. I guess that was like just just an optional objective, huh? Okay. Do I need to like research some technologies? That'd be good, right? I think so. Oh, wow. Do I have any military buildings I could? Should we sally forth? Having struck out at the English front line, the French had slowed the enemy's advance. I didn't strike against them at all, so I don't know what you're talking about. Actually. A monastery. Should I? I want to. We need more cavalry. Where's my stable? Stable! Stable! That's a barracks. But where's the stable? F. Why are you pressing F in my chat, Annie? Did you have a typo? Huh? Come on, get them! Oh my god, they are actually destroying my cavalry. This is not like total war. I thought cavalry versus swordsmen. That's what I thought. I thought cavalry versus swordsmen. Dunce hat, that's not a command. And if it is, I'm turning off Streambot. I will not allow this. How do I counter? Susceptible to cavalry charges, that's what I thought, but... I don't have cavalry. Do I? Like, where is the fucking stable? Why don't I just build one instead of looking for one? Huh? How about that? Let's get like three of them so we can just spam them. As the French continued to rally their army, the English took the last of the surrounding villages and had almost encircled Paris. Can you stop giving me anxiety, lady? Hasoka continued in vain against the, ra the rampaging English horde. Like... <laughs> Everything was surrounded. There was no hope. Only despair. <laughs> With the countryside in flames and the English at the city gates, the French army steeled themselves for battle. All the horsemen are weak versus now melee came units, the capital's huh? true test. With the mighty walls of Paris hold against a fearsome English siege. I don't have any gold. Where's the gold? Defeat the English attack waves. Honey, if I had the gold, guard raised the alarm. there's the stable. The English began their first assault on the city walls. I don't have. Oh shit. Uh oh. Get over there. Put in a. Put in that. Put that in there. Well. We don't really have much of an army, not gonna lie. Not really much of an army. Oh my god! Oh, but we have like a ballista thing, right? They're gonna destroy that. No! Can you repair this? Oh, too late. <laughs> too late! Mm. 
How about you repair the wall to turn the bridge? What that? One man, one hammer, one wall. Her. Repelling the first English Is there like attack. a market in this game that I could sell excess resources to? There is. Right? Is it working? Cool. What's coming at me next? Got a whole bunch of infantry. We got spears over here. Oh my god, it's a siege tower, honey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of Where's my like royal knights or whatever the fuck? Where are they at? Those are countered by spearmen, though. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Those are ranged. Where's my... Here. I'm gonna have them here. Why are you outside the walls? What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing out there? You guys. Okay. You silly. You silly billies. Who is screaming? Stop. Counter by horsemen. <gasps> oh my god! You know, we don't really have that many forces to move around. There's no friendly fire. Shooting, shooting crossbow bolts in the back of my knights. Give me that! Burn it! I don't want it here. Fucking off. Where are they going? Get out of here. I need. Do I want these guys? Do I want archers? Good damage versus they have a high rate of fire. Here's what I think we should do we upgrade them, put them out here. I hope it doesn't take too long. Rawr! Okay, so we got them attacking here. We got bows. Uh, do I have any cavalry to go? I don't. I don't 
know where all my cavalry has fucked off to, but... We need some ranged units up here. Where are my crossbows? Where did they go? You fucks! Oh. No, you got archers up there. Let's go over here. They do have spears behind the... They got a trebuchet. If you got spears, then, honey, we got problems. Station you there. I might ride out. Maybe not. No. Because they'd come at me, they'd flank me, wouldn't they? The French could still hold the city, so long as its mighty landmarks did not fall. It's fine. Everything is fine. Situation normal. Everything is under control, okay? We'll hold them here. Why are you charging down there? What the hell? These crossbowmen are crazy. Get up here. Get rid of this thing, I hate it. Are you gonna... I knew you would. I knew you would. Bring them over here. Yeah. See what happens if you follow me? If you chase me, you will get fired upon. Yeah. You see? You silly bitch! The French defense of their capital held firm, wearing down the English invaders one by one. Easy. Okay. Oh, did they breach this too? Wow. Am I out of wood? How? I wasn't paying attention. That's how. Okay, so this campaign might be a little difficult, you guys. Might be a little difficult. They got me on all fronts. Oh, that front's not even defended. Uh-oh. Oh no, you guys. We might be a little, how do you say, in the France, le fucked. We might be a little bit, yes, uh, fucked. Okay, immediately requisition everything over here. Everything needs to go over there. Holy shit. I didn't know I had to manage an economy at the same time, honey. But... I don't have the villagers. Where's my town hall? I don't even know if I have the town, not town hall, town center. You know what I mean. Where's the city hall? <laughs> oh my God, they got a ram in here. Trying to ram me. This, this one French man, look at him. He's so brave. Get back here, you idiot. Come on, stop! 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 
What? Oh my god, these two rams. This is embarrassing. They're just battering rams. They're not even supported! Get him out of here! Oh my god! <laughs> you are an embarrassment to the French army! How dare. How dare you allow this to happen? Okay, now we gotta move our archers. Get over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. How are you gonna get off the wall now? That's my next question. Because you don't have a way off, do you? Oh, no, you do. Okay. If you can, get over there. Wait. Over here. They're just archers, right? They're just archers. We can go. Holy fucking shit! Oh! MG! I don't have the resources to uh, make anything else, by the way. That's a lot of knights. I don't have any spears. You don't have any melee infantry to keep them back. You're dead. <laughs> Um, okay, how can I salvage this situation? I don't have enough resources. I don't have enough food. Where's the market? Where is it? Where? Here. No, that's the arsenal. Oh, look, there's my town center. I just found it. Okay, where is the market? Where is the market? I just want to go shopping while we're under siege. I just want to go for a little shopping. Here, okay. Give me food! Oh my god, they're destroying everything. They are destroying everything. I don't have barracks anymore. That's gone. Uh, I can't, I don't know what to do, I don't operate well under stress, oh. The English army began burning the great Parisian landmarks. Oh no! The French were running out of time to expel the enemy from their city. Oh, shit! Well, you know, I guess, I guess that's it. I. I don't have the resources to make it up. It's just all gone. <laughs> I think we're done. I think we're dead. Wow. Where soldiers? Where soldiers? Oh my God! They're dead as soon as they as soon as they come out. <laughs> Okay, well, GG, GG, but you know, I thought that they gave me the, all the resources that I needed, and I was like, oh, this is, like, I don't really have to actively build anything, or, you know, I was under the impression that I already had everything I needed. That's my excuse for the fucking destruction of Paris, okay? I thought when I came in that it was all taken care of. I didn't know I actually had to do stuff. <laughs> you know? Objective failed. Oh no. Oh, my sword. <laughs> this is an excellent time to take a break, I think. I think...
we need to take a break. Let me find my music and there. So if you've been sitting for the past hour or so, as I have, get up and stretch and hydrate. Okay. Okay. And stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. I'll be right back. Okay. We can change the difficulty. <laughs> we could. We can play in baby mode. Baby story mode. I'm just here to have fun, honey. I'm here for funsies. But this time we have the advantage in knowing that we have to actually get some resources going. Okay. And I didn't know that before. <laughs> Okay. All right. We have failed. We may have lost the battle, but we will win the war. Yes.
So I'm not going to prioritize spearmen until the end. It seems that's when they brought in their cavalry was in the end. So if we do make them, we'll just have them hiding somewhere for that last round. I do want uh, like a detachment of the English Black Prince had raised ranged the units on each gate instead mercy. of having to reposition them and every time. Now his army had come for the capital. With the English on their doorstep, it fell to the French army and the people of Paris to defend the walls of their proud city. Okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Hoping to avoid open battle, the French began fortifying the city, manning the walls and calling every available soldier to his post. Put ten up there. Get these workers in here. Get them in here now. Okay. As the French hastened their preparations, several detachments of English soldiers were spotted closing in on the city. Get in here! Outside bad, inside good. Okay. Oh, wow! Get in. Okay. Anyone left? Are there any civilians left in the vicinity that need to be brought into the city? Yo. I want to at least get this right. You guys, at least let's let's get the evacuation right, so they can all die in a central location. <laughs> okay. The English showed no mercy, burning their way to Paris via three routes. I each know. Each of which was home to villages and farms that supplied the capital. It's bad. It's a bad time. I know. I think we got everyone though. They're just all on their way. Right? We need one more. One more villager! Please. Okay. <gasps> we did it! We did it! Yay! Okay. Time to, time to, time to get to work, okay? Time to earn your keep, okay? I don't know if I even want to bother with cavalry, knowing they have so many pikes. I really don't want to do that. So, we're not. We're gonna position these guys. We're gonna have like 10, have a bunch of you, we need food. We need food, honey. Do we have any farms existing around here? No, we do not. So, you guys? I need you to make farms. Having struck out at the English you must line, make the farms the French had slowed for the France. Okay. This is a really bad spot because I know like the attack, the enemy is gonna be right here. Hopefully they don't. We'll be fine. We will be fine. Okay, we got our got archers up there. Okay, got archers here. I need some here. What's this? Gate is unlocked. Lock it. What are you talking about? The gate's locked. 
All of them need to be locked. Are you kidding me? Lock your doors. Okay. Are they here? Okay. Why don't you guys, like, get in formation on the wall? Can you do that? Line formation. This is not a line! There you go! What the? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? There! Still not quite a line! These men do not know how to stand in a line. There's like always one that falls down. Okay. We are ready! We are ready! No. I might need a few more archers on this side. There. Um. And maybe some over here. Okay, what do we want these guys to do? What do we want them to do? I don't know. Let's As the French continued to rally get some more army, technology. The English took the last of the surrounding villages and had almost I know, them. I know. Get on the gold. We need gold. Cavalry, get out of here. You are useless. You are useless. Now that I know that the horsemen are weak to melee infantry, the only cavalry that are useful are the the next ones up, whatever they were. With the countryside in flames and the English at the city gates, the French army steeled themselves for battle. It's fine. We're going to be now fine. Now came the capital's true test. With the mighty walls of Paris hold against a fearsome English siege. We're gonna be just fine, honey. The Parisian guard raised the alarm as the English began their first assault on the city walls. Because now I actually have resources coming in. I'm paying attention. We got ranged units on each gate. We don't have a detachment of melee at each gate, do we? We need you here. We need... Hold on. We need... 10... of you there. You guys need to, like, fucking move! Get closer. Get over there. them any further. I don't think I can. It's almost like you just need more archers, don't you? We just need more, more, more. Do you have any other military buildings that I'm French missing? Army I don't Valley think I... Repelling the first English attack. I think that is a big part of it. The more archers we have on these walls, the better. But I'm also wondering about these units. I haven't been using them. They're anti-armor. Are these the crossbowmen? I don't know if they're the same. What are they called? Arbaletir! Arbaletir! What are you? Oh, they are! Oh! 
Oh shit. Oh fuck, they they came in over the wall. I forgot that they always come in with a siege tower on this side. They still held the boss though pretty well. We have a lot of resources this time. Now our only limit is gonna be our rate of like production. We need more troops down there. I need more troop loops. Possibly more food. Possibly. Oh, I might have to. Can I get squeeze in like three more farms right here? I wonder if I can, but also. Oh, God. Okay. They got siege tower, so we gotta come up on the wall. Hey, they can throw torches at them, though. Better. I'm doing better, honey! I am gaming now. So much better. I also reduced the difficulty. <laughs> I also reduced the difficulty just to be sure. Get in a line, come on. You too. There you go. This is not a line. Show me a line. No. What are you doing? This is not a line. This is a clusterfuck. What are you doing? Why are you like this? Man, you guys need more training. You guys are not trained to even stand in a line. Okay. What? No! 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 This is not a line! Okay, so the wall formation. Getting into formation on a wall. They really don't like it. They really don't like going into lines. <laughs> oh my god, the, the fucking survival of Paris! Hinges on your ability to form a line. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> like, they don't all have equal line of sight. Man, they got trebuchets. Now they're bringing out the trebuchets. Which I could potentially. What if I just ran some cavalry in here really quick to take care of this? I know it's surrounded by spears, but. could still hold the city so long as its mighty landmarks did not fall 
Oh fuck! See, I knew they'd be too smart. They're too smart. Oh shit. Don't attack them. I mean, I guess we drew them in. So that's pretty, pretty good, I guess. What are these two guys doing? Get up! Get up! At least get in one good volley. Oh my god, they got archers back there too? You got archers in the rear, honey? Wow. Oh, fuck! Oh my god. Do I reposition my troops? What do I do? I think they're fine. I think they'll be fine. They don't need any more. Okay. I do want to make... The French defense of their capital held firm, wearing down the English invaders one by one. <sighs> this fucking trebuchet. I hate you. I hate you! Stop throwing rocks at me! It's very rude. It's exceptionally rude of you. Okay, I need to start thinking about spearmen though, because they're going to come in with this wave that has cavalry. Can we go get in one more volley? Oh my god! Can we actually shoot at them from here? No! Get rid of this fucking thing! Now go! Move on away! Okay, you guys are fucking useless, so go that way. You need to be up in the wall. What are you doing down here, honey? Why? <laughs> this tower is just inching forward like oh, I don't know if I want to oh, uh. <laughs> Get out of here Why do you even have a siege tower? You don't need one As their ranks thinned and their hopes of victory faded <gasps> I haven't got that message before Okay We have spears if we need them, we do. Uh, I can make some more. And I can make a battalion of uh, crossbowmen here. Make some of them just because. For whoever needs it, whoever wants it. I bet you I could have done this in uh, easy difficulty. I probably could have. Now that I know what's going on. Okay, have you made everything? Almost. Okay. Let's why are we screaming? Oh, that's why. Okay. You got... What is that? Is that a trebuchet? It's another trebuchet. I hate you. Oh shit, they got archers. You know, at least the trebuchet went up further this time. I don't know why you positioned it so close. 
without any support. Okay, back off from them. Maybe the cavalry have a use against the archers. But I don't want to send them in there because they'll get flanked by these. So. I say like I have a scarcity of resources this time. This time I'm doing pretty well in resources, actually. Now we just need gold. Are we out of gold? Damn. Wait, there's some down here. Uh. Go get the gold. Do it for Paris. Do it. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We gotta get up on the wall. And we got shit happening over there. What are you doing? You know, I haven't seen any cavalry coming at all. Do you think the units change depending on the difficulty? Interesting. Defeated and demoralized by the strength They're showing of the them in the defense. cinematic, but I didn't the see a Black single Witch's one in, in the game. Their siege of the capital. Paris celebrated victory, but this was not the last test the French would face in their struggle to win the war. Though I feel like that was a little too easy. I think I'm going to return to the original difficulty we had. Because now we know. Now we know what's going on. The walls of Paris held out against the English onslaught. England's King Edward and the Black Prince abandoned the siege. They marched towards Chartres to try their luck at conquering a less formidable target. But before they could attack, a violent storm hit the army. Oh, another example of the weather having an effect. Killing a thousand English <laughs> soldiers in a tempest of hail and freezing winds. To Edward, this Black Monday disaster seemed like divine retribution. Black Monday. A sign that it I was, thought it was time Friday, to honey. Waging war and make peace with France's King Jean. I'm learning so much. But even as peace between kings was reached. The people of France were still living in bloodshed and turmoil. Black Monday. Oh. Between 1358 and 1370, Interesting. France was wow. in chaos. Peasant a freak hailstorm struck and killed an estimated a thousand English soldiers. And civil war ravaged the country. That's crazy. Peasants rose in rebellion, killing their lords and wreaking havoc. Mercenary bands. I just had to Google it really land. quick. I had to fact check. <laughs> Known as Routier, they had once been hired by the English to fight against the French, but were cut loose when peace was reached. 
They systematically ravage and pillage towns across France. And with King Jean prisoner in England, his son Charles the Dauphin faced homegrown attacks on his rule by powerful French lords, beset from all sides. The Dauphin's forces had to regain control over their own country. France in chaos. I see. Right, right. Civil disorder. Mm. Okay. As long as it's not another wave defense. Um, I don't enjoy wave defenses in games. They're not, they're not my favorite because they, they take away my freedom, honey. I need freedom. I need liberty. I want to move. I want to do stuff. I don't want to be held in place forever. Having only recently been crowned King of France, Charles V dispatched his army to the French-held village of Evreux to forge order from chaos. Oh. Hold on, I'm drinking my tea. From I'm here, drinking my the peach army tea. Would move to extinguish three major threats. What? Bands of roving mercenaries harrying the countryside, a peasant uprising, and attacks from a rival for the French crown. Can we put out the fires? Of Navarre. Is that something we can do? Put out the fire! The French army would start by reclaiming the rebel-held villages of Cocherelle, Jouy, and Croissy. Does that do anything? You're not really using water, you're just banging it with hammers. So... I don't know if that hey it worked hey apparently if you if you bang on a fire with hammers it works that's wild we have to recapture two settlements What are we looking at? Let's see. Now, the question is, do we have the troops we need to get the job done? These are scouts. Let's go scout and see what they got. Oh, we found some sheep. I didn't mean to, but I found some sheep on the way. Oh, okay, you got some swordsmen? Militia. As the French army struggled to regain control of the countryside, they were struck by a band of English routiers. No, they These were not. These had been cut loose by the English army and were plundering the countryside in order to make a living. What are you talking about? What? Oh! Oh! I like how the scout actually whistles and like alerts. <laughs> I see shit! Where are you going? Oh, you're going that way. Why? Stop them! Let's <laughs> go! 
What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just a, a shepherd. <laughs> He's like, I want to be part of it. Oh my god. You are ruining me. Oh. I think we survived. The French forces eliminated the Routier attack, but more were still raiding the countryside in search of provisions and riches. The Routier oh. demanded payment from the French, or they would continue their horrifying raids. Or do they automatically? Oh. I wasn't sure if they would automatically distribute themselves or not. Okay, well, I got some sheep. So, can I do something with those? Okay. Do we have a stable? I want, I want stable. I don't think we do. I want uno dos. I don't know what they are in French. Aren't they un, un, dun, un, do? I only know the Spanish, honey. <laughs> un, do, I think is what it is. <laughs> un, do, try. I can count to three. Okay, so now what I need are. What are you doing? Oh, oh my god. Who's screaming? Ah! Get him! Get him, Poochie! Oh my god. OMG. I didn't realize. Hey, we need wood. We need wood. We've got archers back here as well. The scout! Stop engaging them! You guys are not doing well. You got lucky. You got real lucky. Quite a bit more wood, actually. We also need gold. We need everything. Is there gold here? I don't see any. There's this treasure up here. I don't know what that's all about. Where's my scout? Are they actually named, by the way? I see a name down here. I don't know if that's just my faction. Get away! I've come for treasure! Oh my god. Go, little Frenchman, go!
So we got gold out of the treasure chests, but like immediately spent it. Hmm. There's gotta be some around here somewhere. Oh shit! Not again! Are they just gonna regular? We have to pay tribute? Or destroy their camp. Which I don't know where it is. We'll find something. Oh, more treasure. Just get it and run. These wolves are very protective of their treasure. Run away! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> it's mine now. You don't need it. You're just a bunch of wolves. You don't need treasure. Come on, little French man. Go! Oui, oui. I don't know what you're saying. Comprendo. What? Wait, I'm guessing you said understand. Oh, what is this? I look how panicked he gets when the wolves are on him. <laughs> sacred site. I don't know what the sacred site is. Can you fuck off? Can I actually fight them? Wait. I'm screaming. Okay, it's not gonna work out. It's not working out! <laughs> it's not going according to plan. Okay. What's this? Oh, is this the enemy? Oh, fuck! Oh my god. Oh, little Frenchman, you have discovered death <laughs> that is what you have discovered come back okay that's the camp I know they're gonna come after me I think I'm gonna go all in with that I guess we're just gonna go infantry only because holy shit Poor man, you sound so terrified. <laughs> you poor guy. Okay. Cause we do have stables, but game bonus damage. Oh shit. <laughs> Mr. Scout, stop. Come back. Drive them away! All the wolves have come to help, honey. Look! The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay. Well. That worked out. But yeah, I don't know if we should use a counter by spearmen and crossbowmen. You know, I haven't seen any spears or crossbows, just all cavalry. So that's why I'm thinking we should just double down on spears. That's what I think. Especially since they're cheaper. 60 food, 20 wood. And these like costs like 100 gold and 140 food. I don't even have a sustainable supply of gold. 
So I'd have to rely on a horseman, which are weak against melee units, and I don't want to do that. So yeah. We're just gonna spear it up. We're going to have lots of uh, lots of Frenchmen with pointy sticks. That's what we have. Lots of them. And we'll back them up with Frenchmen with pointy sticks that go in the air. Yes. Otherwise known as archers. We need food. You need it. You need it. Two. Ah. Mm. Oh, we still have five more of each one. And then we'll be ready. Then we can go. Then we can. I love the music. It's so nice. Oh, God, it's not. I just wanted to have a drink of tea. I just wanted to enjoy my tea. With the soothing music of the French countryside. Okay. Are we good? Are we Gucci? I want to upgrade my archers, which requires gold. Can we build a market? We could probably get gold that way, right? Probably. But I don't have it available to me. We'd have to age up, which I can't age up in this scenario. This is just all we got. Let's go! Time to fuck their shit up. We just got two towers, but what if we came in from the rear? You know? What if we came in the rear? I think that's what we should do. Hey! Oh my god, they can shoot far. It's fine. The French discovered the Routier. Oh my god. The English raids if they could destroy the camp. It's fine. They can't shoot me here. Well, they can't if you move the battle over there. What are you doing? Oh my god, the line is breaking, the line is breaking, the line is broken, pull back! Oh my god, oh! Run away! I did not intend, I did not count on them having... Oh my god, they're gonna chase me all the way back home, aren't they? Wow! I can't believe this. Okay, well. Wow, they, they, they're they actually assholes. <laughs> oh my god, the battle is won! Go back home! <laughs> Please! Holy shit. 
great. Now you brought them to our doorstep. I got two men. <laughs> I like how the archer switches to using a knife if they're up close. <laughs> and it doesn't really do much. Oh, we could upgrade this! I didn't know you could upgrade your tower. Well, shit. Stop spawning over there. There's not enough of you to do anything. Ah! <laughs> the terror. <laughs> this one Frenchman against an army. You're dead. You see what happens when you try to play hero? You see what happens? You gotta think as a group, honey. You gotta think as a group. Like these guys, look at them. See? Thanks for decimating all my units as they were coming out of the building. That was fun. Thanks for draining my resources. I need more food! I can't get enough food, honey. So I'm thinking we take some pressure off of the off the wood gathering to food. And I might have to. to actually make some more villagers. Oh no! I'm not ready for you, honey. Stop! I'm not ready for you to come inside. Stop! Get out of here! <laughs> Please stop! Just keep coming and coming! Hey. Hey, we're gonna have so much food. I just want so many spears. And so many archers that they won't know what to do. They're like, oh my god, that's a lot of very sharp pieces of wood coming at me up close and from far away. Whoa. <laughs> You know what we might actually have to do? We might have to... Might have to build another archery range. Did we manage to do anything though? I don't think we managed to take out anything. We took out a bunch of the troops. Maybe. Possibly. Build that entire building by yourself. One man. One job. Yeah. He can do it. Okay, 
Okay, that should be enough spearmen, and then the rest could be archers. That's a lot of farming. Will they return? They should return, yeah, to the town center as well. So I could put farms around the town center. I feel like I should, um... Oh, look, now they got spears! They learn so fast. They grow up so fast. What am I trying to build? Probably a tower. Okay, I got enough for 10 more. Oh, it's almost a perfect square. Come on. There's this one guy in the back. Whatever. <laughs> I guess it is. I guess he has to be in the back. Okay, six more archers. Should I build a palisade? Can't build it here. Why not? Why? Wow. Oh, it has to be inside the wall, I see. Well, the best time to like move your forces while they're building walls. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why I thought. That's cool. Okay. Here, let me make a hole for you guys to come in. Here. Everybody? There. Okay, now. Oh, look, they were on their way. Look at that. We intercepted them. We were so smart. Also, I will say, this isn't as gory as the, like, Age of Empires 2 that I grew up with. In Age of Empires 2, there was... There'd be like blood all beneath them when they would die, and then they would like decompose slowly. Like turn into skeletons. They don't do that anymore. I forgot about the towers, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if I could build siege equipment at this age. 
There they are. Damn! This is a horrible positioning for my archers. Very lucky that the, they didn't circle around. me while I'm gone. Because this is literally my entire army. <laughs> this would you destroy all the buildings, huh? This is like counting up. No treasure. Okay, we gotta wrap back around. I don't want to get hit by that one, but I probably will. Yeah, they're both shooting at me. It's fine. We got more than enough troops to be able to do this. So happy. Hooray! Yay! They love burning things. <laughs> They're just all a bunch of pyromaniacs. Okay. <laughs> With the Routier camp destroyed, I wonder what this is about. No the sacred site. Oh, don't forget the treasure. I wonder what the sacred site is. <laughs> Not really sure what you can do. What? Oh. It's just a wolf. Oh, it's under enemy control. Apparently. Not anymore. We have captured a command post. What is this, like Star Wars Battlefront? <laughs> Another command post for the Empire. Okay, well. You know, I build a monastery? I can't build anything in this age. I could build a blacksmith. Can we take it? How do we take it? It says it's religious. Use a monk to capture a neutral sacred site by moving close to it. A captured sacred site periodically generates gold to the player that controls it. Oh, that's new. That's a new thing in Age of Empires. So it's like a an alternate, infinite way to generate gold, huh? 
If only I had a monastery, then I could actually make a monk to go do that. Instead, I can only do the, all I can do is those. Melee and ranged infantry can construct siege towers and battering rams in the field? Wait, did Age of Empires finally, like, get rid of that? If you don't know, um, you initially had to, like, build a siege building, and then you would build your siege weapons there and have to roll them across the map to get to where they needed to go. When in actual history, wooden siege weapons were built by troops in the field, it just makes more sense, right? To, uh, to build them on site. That's kind of cool. That's also a thing that was in Civilization. You had to, like, make the siege weapons in the cities and then roll them across the entire map. <laughs> Which just isn't... that's not how, how that happens. How that goes. So maybe that explains why there's not a siege uh, building. Cool. I wonder if I could use these troops to take this settlement down here. Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> I'm sure that was French, but it sounded like Nintendo. I didn't know Nintendo was French. <laughs> I, there's no way that's what they're saying. God. Nintendo! For Nintendo! <laughs> you know the fearsome battle cry that medieval French soldiers would, uh, would yell. <laughs> For Nintendo! Alon C. Hey, I know that from Doctor Who. Alon Z. I know that one. I know that word. <laughs> Is that ye old English? I don't know. Maybe. It's supposed to be... This is supposed to be France. We're playing as the French. Okay. We're gonna go recapture. After that, they'll be fine. Wait, actually, you don't have that many melee troops, don't you? You have like a single line of spearmen and, um, kind of worrisome. What if I supply you with Ah, oh, they're weak versus... hmm. We have to use Spearmen in this age. We don't have any other, any other kind of infantry we can use. Duo, it's the wrong... You're in the wrong timeline. This is not World War II. This is the... Uh, the Hundred Years' War, for your information. <laughs> Actually? <laughs> Hello, duo. Welcome, welcome back. I feel like I should make more barracks. It's taking too long. I'm impatient. I'm impatient. pretty cool game though i'm pretty impressed with what they have going on here um 
There were only a couple things I wasn't quite sure about, and I can't remember what they were. Benefactor. Benefactor. Bum, 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 bum. I've been looking forward to playing this though for a long time, ever since I got it. And I can't even remember. I can't remember when I got this game, and then I just didn't play it. I don't understand myself sometimes. I'll be like, man, I was looking forward to this game, so excited, man, highly anticipated, and then I get it, and then I procrastinate playing it. <laughs> Not enough atrocious activity, just longbows, and a cost a few between two old war powers. That was hundreds of years long. I know! Crazy. Crazy. I don't actually know that much about the Hundred Years' War. I know about the Thirty Years' War. The war that, like... That, like, bankrupted... The British Empire and then they had to tax their colonies and then America was like hey fuck you and they joined the French because the French were like hey huh, opportunity <laughs> there's your history lesson Wow. Hey, this is this works out pretty nice. In taking the village of Jouy, the French army was closer to stemming the peasant rebellion and regaining control. I sometimes wonder about like I wonder about alternate history all the time, right? Bum, 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 bum. Like, what if? What if the the French and the British actually got along? What if they got along? What would have happened if the events leading to the American Revolutionary War, you know, weren't even in place? We'd probably just the U.S. would probably just end up like a. You know, like a commonwealth nation or something, huh? What are these two guys doing with your lives? The central monastery town of Cocherel would continue to send out rebel attack parties to weaken the French army. What? Why? Why are they doing this? You are the world's worst DM. I hate you. Just constantly. And then this really shitty thing happened. Why? <laughs> can I can I roll to prevent it? Please? Get them. You don't deserve this, it's mine. This pile of uh, very finely cut rocks, it's mine now. We have captured a command post. Okay. These two guys are just sleeping, standing up. It's crazy. But I don't know what to do with them. Go chop some wood. God, you guys have cut down this entire forest. Wow. Definitely wouldn't have developed. France helped with the independence. That's very true. 
So if the tables turning, the colonies would have possibly ended up in a perpetual cycle of revolution. Mm, maybe. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Alonzi. I don't know, but I like to think about that stuff all the time. Cause uh, I'm a nerd. I know like make like alternate history scenarios and like civilization and stuff. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's just fun to watch the maps change boundaries or whatever. To the point, Britain would either get sick of spinning resources and put a hold so strict it would just be military bases or not develop. Possibly being scratched completely. That would be interesting. Imagine an alternate history scenario where the British Empire was just like, eh, North America is just a lost cause. <laughs> they just abandoned the colonies instead. I don't know if I should go. Should I go in there? Should I just march in there? Where's all my spearmen? Should I just march all in there like I own the place? They're gonna have to walk so far. <laughs> They're gonna have to go so far. I probably should have just like built new barracks. What's the plural of barracks? Bar barracks I. Barracks I. <laughs> I just in case things don't go according to plan, you know. Boom, boom, boom. And then. Boom, boom, boom. Go work on those, all of you. Will the Spanish take more land? Possibly. Who knows? Oh my god! Trying to raid me? How dare you? Trying to convert me? How dare you? Something else I like to think about is like, um, like alternate outcomes based upon like, what if the geography had been different? The central monastery town of like was still under the control what if of rebel like uh, an the Asian superpower uh, Japan China on of had crossed the Pacific and discovered North America first like maybe the planet rotates the other way so that the wind direction is more favorable to cross the Pacific. <laughs> but also that there wasn't, I guess there wasn't very, there wasn't much motivation to cross the Pacific because there just wasn't anyone out there to, to trade with. And Japan was very isolated at the time, right? Dealing with troubles of its own. But what if they had just been like, I want to go on an adventure! Oh my god! Please stop. Please stop. Oh, 
they're all going to die. Well, you can't heal, so might as well to the death. But why are there two villagers with food running into battle? <laughs> Get out of here. I love the way you think, Duo, by the way. By the way, can I just say... I did not expect someone in chat to actually, like, respond so thoughtfully. That's really cool. <laughs> Very knowledgeable. But yeah, like, climate, right? Yeah, the climate of Britain would have changed quite a bit. I like looking at maps of Earth that would, like, look different from, like, little changes like that. If one thing had happened differently. Hey, stop raiding my shit! Get out of here! Oh my gosh! How dare these guys! But to keep control over the region, they would need to defend its center of influence, the monastery at Cocherelle. Do I need to hold this settlement, though? Like, if it burns to the ground, is it okay? Is it okay? I don't know. Oh, they're actually healing now. Raw. Cool, so now we can actually control those. If we send a monk over. Didn't I send a bunch of villagers down there? What are they doing? Wow, they are bold. They are fighting. Well, the entire settlement has fallen into ash. I was hoping to get these villagers down here to like rebuild, but. Oh well! <laughs> oh well! Bump, 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 bump! Okay. I guess that was just the lost cause. What am I supposed to do? Recapture Roy Z. Oh, that place. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. History is fun. History is interesting. It's such a, like, delicate series of events, you know? Good old butterfly effects. Wow, wow. Hey, no. Ah! Oh my god. How dare you? The audacity. The audacity. Would it the bubonic plague spread again? 
of her trade back to Europe. Um, I don't know. There was a there was a thing about that. I don't remember. Cause like the whole reason why the bubonic plague even spread was. Ooh. The urban infrastructure at the time, right? People in medieval times were very stinky. They didn't care a whole lot much about hygienes and whatnots and they didn't have the understandings of what caused the diseases and they had the the fleas common misconception that the rats were to blame it was the fleas Well, I don't, I don't really think like anything like that can, can really spread in modern times. It has to be, it has to be respiratory. Anything that relies upon like parasitic con like contraction or whatever. It's much slower and, you know? Although I know there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like popular, like zombie, movies and stuff that are like it's a parasite or some shit like that but it, it it wouldn't it wouldn't work it a virus i don't know Like there was, what was it? The Last of Us. The Last of Us went with the uh, a fungus. I I feel like the f yeah the mushroom people. In reality, I don't think that a fungus. <laughs> I don't think that a fungus would be among us. That's very slow. <laughs> Disease is certainly one of those things, though, that had like a profound impact. At upon history for sure especially early on especially early on Man, they are not going for it, are they? The, the door is wide open. <laughs> this gate is wide open. Not accessible. What do you mean? Guess we can't go that way. At least they let you like select way more units than back in the day. Cause I remember like in the original Age of Empires, you could only select so many and then it would just start deselecting them. And it was kind of annoying.
Whoa! <laughs> These archers, man. They like all zeroed in on one target. Do you imagine getting hit with that many arrows all at once? The village of Poissy, rich in gold deposits. <laughs> Just turn you into a pincushion at a matter of a milliseconds. <laughs> How many arrows could his shield block? It's like Skyrim. Like how the arrows stick out. <laughs> the French army defeated the rebels at Croissy and took control of the gold rich village. The French army took control of the rebel villages and the peasant uprising was subdued. <laughs> Depends, does it have on breaking? <laughs> oh. Did we do it? Oh, we had to protect the monastery. Do we need to repair the monastery? It looks kind of uh, North broken. Of Cocherelle, Charles of Navarre's army had established a fortified camp. The King of Navarre sought to make himself ruler of France as well. He intended to press his claim by destroying the newly arrived royal forces. Oh no. What's in that guy? You're gonna go on a pilgrimage to that place. Don't die. I'm gonna make another monk just in case. The backup monk. Okay. Just in case he doesn't make it. <laughs> now, do they have to hold this? They don't. Okay, so you can actually come back. Okay, defeat Charles Navarre army at their campsite. Oh, we aged up, by the way, didn't we? I just realized. We aged up, honey, that means. And make some upgrades. Um. Is that the only upgrade? No, here we go. What's happening? What is going on? Can they fire from this far? No? Man, you don't want to go, do you? You don't want to go. Why? This one guy. Oh! You fuck! That one guy. I almost want to say deserved to die because <laughs> he was not even following anyone else. These knights are so silly. You guys. <laughs> Maybe they enjoy it. What? Why is the AI doing this? It's so funny.
Man. Okay. What happened? Did my monk not succeed in his pilgrimage? I don't think he succeeded. Oh well. Oh, what is this? Increase the range damage of all arrows? Ooh. Increase the range of the armor. Boiling oil? All of it! Oh my god. I want all of these technologies. Maybe not that one. Okay. Now. Upgrade those and. I bring these guys with me. Oh, come on! I'm tired of defending. I want to go on the attack. Why? Why do these archers leave? Go back in. Have I ever theorized on uh, human cognition, meaning of life, laws of the universe? These are all things that are... I don't know if all, any of those things are necessarily related. I'm sure I've thought about them all at different times. In different contexts. Sure. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Are there villagers in the mix? Get out of here. You are not part of the army. You are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. So go there. What the hell are you doing? Are you throwing fire at my wall? I can't believe that, that you would do that. I can't believe you would toss flames upon my wall. Can I cross this now? It's the only way over there. Obey your commandments. Oh, they just don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Where are you guys coming from? You gotta be coming from up here. There's something going on here. found a hole they found a hole that's so many cavalry where are you coming from I will find. It's like following ants back to their colony. There's nothing here. Force is under attack. What do you mean? What? What the hell? Hello? Do we not have any... What? Oh my god. How? 
Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh, spaghetti yo. I need like a defensive army, you know? Just camped out down here. Gotta be coming from over this bridge, but it's so weird that there were cavalry coming from that side. We're gonna have to plug those holes. Where's my idle? We don't have any idle citizens at all. Well. Why won't you let me plug the hole? How dare you? I can do that. Monks, what are you doing? coming from they're the northwest somewhere i wonder if this river is shallow enough it can be crossed but then what's the point of the bridge hmm. God, you're so slow. Is it because of the monks in the back? These two old men are holding us up. Also, why is this got an exclamation point? I could just have to defend it, I guess. We're gonna put some towers down. Okay. Right? To buy us some time if they come at us again. Maybe they just follow this road. Pushing up the hillside, the French discovered Charles of Navarre's camp. His there they are. Ground and was made up entirely of archers. The French would have to think carefully about how to approach the stronghold. Uh, not like this. Not like that. Holy shit. You know what? It might be cavalry time. It might be cavalry time, honey. That's what I think.
we lock this door? Why is it wide open? Why? Is that just how it looks? That's just how it's animated? And <laughs> there's a draft! Can't help but notice. Bit of a draft. Oh no. Hey! How dare you? Where are they going? Hold your ground! Why are you running away? How do I, like, set your stance to be defensive? They're standing ground. Maybe I should have done that. Just be separate so they'll get confused. I'm gonna need more. Pyramid, huh? A lot more spearmen because they just killed them all. Wow. I can't believe you've done this. Hmm. These are heavy cavalry. These are light cavalry. Make a bunch of those. I want to rebuild this, get some towers. These guys are all the way down here. Come up here. I feel like you're more needed up here. Um. But I'll make some new villagers anyway. Okay, I think we're I think we're on a path to something. Man, whenever there's like destroyed section of gate, it's so annoying because you have to just build over with wall and then put a new gate down. Maybe I won't even put a gate down. It'll just be wall. There's no need for us to go that way. Oh! This, this is not the good. Gates are so flimsy. If only we could make them out of a harder material, like like something like stone, perhaps. I wonder if we can. We could do stone wall, but do we have do we have a stone deposit? Because we're going to need a lot of stone. And I don't think we do. I don't think there's any stone. Not any that I found. Oh! <gasps> I found some stone. I found stone. I found stone. Forget the gold. Forget the gold, honey. 
I want stone. That's the new valuable thing. Go get it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we have to rebuild this now. We need... More of them. They're sending more cavalry, of course. Why? Stop! How dare you! I wonder if I could use cavalry against cavalry in desperation here to keep them away from my archers. to repair this wall and I'm gonna do it with stone this time can I put a stone wall gate over this no Ugh. it has to be palisade you can't just upgrade. I wish you could upgrade everything. Although I don't think you could do that in the original. Damn. We'll just have to... Whatever. <laughs> what are they doing? What are you guys doing? What are you doing besides being silly? I'm just gonna have Palisade in front of the stone, I suppose. actually go up until we have a gate. Whoa. But like I can't do it. Ah. That's irritating. 
I want to do something like this. Oh! Come on. Well, this is a waste. Stop. Stop. You have to make like a wide section of wall, don't you? It's gotta be wide. Delete this section of wall. Is it not doable? I don't know how to do this, honey. You think I know? Because I don't. Wow. Okay, whatever. I just want these archers dead. They're surrounded by other stuff though, aren't they? They've also got spears up there. So... That's the whole thing. But at least... Oh shit, they got cal they got heavy cavalry coming down here now. I can't break this stalemate! I'm trying so hard, but it's just not enough. If I could just... If I could just make a... A gate. I'd be so happy. Oh, I could do one here. Getting inside. Oh, you fucks. Oh my god, they're so stupid. Why would they build it from the side? Oh, they're not gonna go for it. They're not gonna go for it. They're gonna build a battering ram instead. Interesting decision. Hey, can we go up here now? There we go. I like how the villagers came out. There, you guys aren't doing anything now. They're trying to build another one. Okay. Stonewall Tower. two archers firing at them. <laughs> well, no, maybe it's four. Maybe there's four archers. Okay, now we're, now we're finally in a good defensible position here. Can't do nothing. Oh, they're dumping oil on them. That's cool. Hey. Now that's a legitimate medieval warfare there. Cool. I want another one of those. 
Oh, I made this by accident, honey. I made an amazingly defensive thing by accident. Because they have to come through my fucking oil towers to get to the gate. Well, they're going to try to go around. What are they going to do? They're very confused. They seem very confused. Where are you going? <laughs> They're trying to throw torches at... That's fine if you get rid of this layer of wall, because... Oh, I should probably finish building this layer of wall. They're going to keep doing that shit. That we have to keep building this. Oh, it's not going to go behind. Oh, no. Well. I tried. Okay. I do need to go to break because I do have dinner. I do have dinner. So, we're going to pause it. We're going to pause. I know things are coming together. Things are coming together for the great big counteroffensive, but I must I must have my dinner, okay? I'll be right back. Mwah!
Hello, hi. I am back. I had a delicious dinner. It's like a sweet and sour, sweet and sour pork with like a little bit of broccoli, some chopped peppers. It was surprisingly spicy too. Yum, yum. I've never had sweet and sour pork before. I've had sweet and sour chicken. But I've never, I've never had it in pork. It was really good. Pretty good, I would say. I would, if, if it were rated on a five star system, I would give it 10 stars. Yeah. Well, Annie and I were a little confused as to like where the spice was coming from. Um, it just must have been in the sauce. The sauce must have been, must have had something in there that was a little spicy, but I loved it. <laughs> um. Okay, now. Are you making, are you making, uh, a reference, Annie? A reference that I don't understand. You just sound like a crazy, deranged, possessive person. <laughs> I'm sure it's a song reference, and the moment you tell me what it is, Oh. <sighs> <laughs> How dare you. Africa by Toto. Remember when that was playing in like every single restaurant, in every department store, everywhere we ever went? got stuck in my head and feel like we should share the pain together. We don't have to share everything together, Annie. You know this. We have some degree, a little bit of degree of independence in our lives, and I like to think that the decision as to whether to inform the other as to a song, you know, a li little bit of personal space there, I think. <laughs> That boundary has been crossed. Okay. <clears throat> now we continue our other uh, reunification of the France. Yes. Amidst this war that we are in with the English, we need to we need to d d deal with this. We need to deal with that. Um. I have cavalry. And to back them up, I have. Possibly. I don't know. What should I come at them with? They have a bunch of pikes. Oh, heavy cavalry are here. <gasps> the heavy cavalry are here. Man, as soon as I'm ready, maybe I should just march up there with pikes. You know? Maybe I should just go pike for pike. Maybe. I think that's what we should do. We need like, popo, 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 popo. We have 40 pikes. They're gonna back up these cavalry. Well, you know, we could probably use some of these because they're holding their own here pretty well. With the oil, they're doing pretty good.
very well, actually. So I could probably take like some of you guys. Hope we can get up there a little sooner. Because the those towers are amazing. So now you have that, but will you still have oil? Thirty-two hot oil. Okay. So we can still have oil, even after we've upgraded. Okay. We march. I need to wait on them because they're so slow. Come on. Wouldn't it be cool if you could have like your light cavalry just like dismount and then they could just become pikemen on the ground? That would be neat. I think you can do that in Total War. Okay. So we're gonna rush at them with these cavalry, and they're gonna come down the hill to attack the cavalry. We pull the cavalry back and we surprise them with a wall of spears, a wall of iron needles. Oh shit! They surprised me. <laughs> they surprised me, honey. Don't attack them, you fucks! You're only light cavalry, you're not heavy. I know you want to be, but... Oh my god, you're getting murdered. You're getting murdered out there. Okay, time to reinforce. Get up there. I don't think they're chasing us anymore. Oh! <laughs> Never mind! I've been jump scared by the the pink menace. <laughs> These two maybe we can take, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's try this again without the surprise that they had for us. I'm not a fan. I don't want those surprises. Okay. Break you in half. You go that way. Better. Oh shit! You're not killing them as quickly as I thought you would! Okay, fall back. Wow. They're not going to come down here, are they? What am I supposed to do? I come at them from the side? God, they come out with me everything they have. Oh shit. Oh!
Don't engage them, you fucks! What are you doing? These cavalry suck. You know, they're like the... Okay, that line has completely fallen apart. Just die. I don't even care anymore. You're useless to me. Those pikes fell apart so quickly, too. Are they not fully upgraded? They are. Anti-Calvary Specialists. Man. What if I do... What if we go in with the Royal Knights? Let's upgrade them. Man, they do 19 damage total versus cavalry. These I don't know. Till we have one to look at, I don't know. We might have to do a cavalry versus cavalry thing because the pikes. Not working out. It could also be that I didn't have enough of them. You probably want a double line, huh? Where's my blacksmith? It's already fully... everything. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah. 40 damage with the lance. See, I think that the spearmen are obsolete, honey. Once we have these things, these guys. I think the best anti cavalry weapon you have are these guys. It's a shame that the anti cavalry bonus is not even like a multiplier. It's just a plus nine. Just a flat number. Huh. I don't know if the old Age of Empires was like that. But it's kind of weird. So now I have to completely change my entire... Like, makeup of my forces. I might need to get some crossbowmen instead. It's taken them a while to kill them. Why are you going on? Yeah, my one of my biggest complaints that I have so far is how the units will not like be smart enough to like stay on the wall. If you tell your archers to attack something, they like jump off the wall and go up to them and attack. Them. <laughs> and the 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 formations on the walls. You tell them to get into a line on the wall, and they do this. <laughs> that is not a line. That is, uh... I don't know what that is. It's a mess, is what it is. Those are the two things I think that are annoying me the most. Other than that, 
Other than the weird behavior that the archers have. I'm having a good time. Hello, Primrose! You love this game? Why is that? Why is it that so many of you who have come in and gotten to know me via other games suddenly have amazing crossover into... <laughs> oh, I also love this game. <laughs> I love it. I'm glad that, 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 uh, that we all have similar interests. It's just always a pleasant surprise. We need more stables. You know, they're not... They're not coming fast enough. You know? I'm destroying your hedge mages. The Royal Institutes. You don't need these hedges. I need stables. Used to play an older version of it on a family computer. So much fun. Oh... So, like me, huh? <laughs> the Age of Empires 2? You know, I had a cousin that, uh, you know, wanted to have like a sleepover or whatever. And the whole time, I, I played on their family computer to play this game. And then it was like time to go to bed. And they're like, you have to get off the computer now. Time to go to bed, Sokar. And then I started crying because I didn't actually want to be there for the sleepover. I just wanted to be there <laughs> so I could play this play Age of Empires on their computer. <laughs> so then like they called my parents. They called my parents and were like, can you go get a, can you come pick him up? Because he's like not having a good time. And so they did. And I confessed. I just wanted to play the game. <laughs> and then my dad was like, if you just want to play Age of Empires, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> and we bonded over Age of Empires. <laughs> uh, it's just like such a vivid memory. <laughs> it's so stupid. Imagine only going to a sleepover purely for the game, for the computer. I had a similar thing happen with my friends, though, uh, with SimCity 4. He had a family computer that had SimCity 4. That could actually run it. At the time, it was very difficult to run. And I was on their computer so much. <laughs> I just wanted to come over so I could play SimCity on high graphics. <laughs> Thorne says, I've been playing games since I got control over my thumbs and cognitive thoughts, so 27 years-ish. Found to be some gaming interest crossover. I'm glad about it. Also played Zoo Tycoon. Ooh. You know, there's like a, a version of that. Sorta, of, kinda. Called... Was it Planet Zoo? I haven't really played it. I think I played like the, the tutorial and that was it. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay! I don't think you're getting in this hole. You're not. You will not. You will be denied. Okay. We are making so many nights. And if you do happen to get in this hole, well, I have a blob of pipes right here. Burn them all. Burn them. Oh, they're going around. They're coming around. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. 
I really need to like address the rest of this because it's very weak everywhere else. And if they happen to find a hole like right here. Oh, oops. Um, that'd be bad. That would be a bad time. <laughs> Good thing they haven't been going left. Probably because I have this palisade here. I know a very, very shoddy, horrible castle craftsmanship, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some like veteran Age of Empires player that's like, yeah, you should be building your walls in the star pattern, putting towers at the point of each star you know you know I've seen those like medieval maps of castles and how they're built but like I haven't been putting very much effort into this I admit I admit to the rally point we have to set the rally point okay Okay. Consider your shit wrecked. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I have lances now. Before you had to tango with men with pointy sticks on foot, but now you've got men with pointy sticks covered in armor on horses coming at you, hot and heavy. There's nothing you can do. I see them coming down here. We're gonna have a clash. <gasps> We're gonna collide in the forest. The ultimate joust. Oh, they surprised me. Where are they at? Did they get past me? Did they go? Interesting. They decided to hug the river. Well, my towers will deal with them. While they're distracted, I will just do this. Kill them all! Oh my god, that is a lot of- Oh, that's a lot of pointy things. That is a lot of pointy things. We tore through a lot of them though. So we could do that again on the left side. Wait for them to pass. Are they on patrol back and forth? I think they are. They're gonna come at us no matter what. Oh no! You know what, maybe we'll be fine. Maybe we'll be fine. Maybe I'm a little too nervous for my own good. And actually, we can hold this line. We can not only hold it, we can overtake it, I think. Maybe. Oh shit, maybe not. Maybe, actually. Oh. Ah. Uh, But, look how many forces they have left. Huh? We may have lost a lot of noble French knights, but... However... However... They're hurting, and they know it. I'm gonna put some spears up here. 20 spears, okay. We got 20 spears. And we're gonna have 
20 crossbows for the final assault. Yeah. Overwhelm them. They won't know. They would never expect. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Except we're not Spanish. And this is not an Inquisition. But I just felt like making a Monty Python reference. <laughs> When will you learn? When will you learn? You silly bitch! You're not getting around this wall. I mean, if you were a little more curious, you would discover I am very weak. The ass of my fortress is very vulnerable. But you keep wanting to go through the front, honey. You're so silly. Okay. Why are you going in that way? Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's why they're all going around. <laughs> they're all going in this way because I don't have a gate. Oops. It's such a chaotic design. It's so chaotic. Put a tower here is to keep coming over there. I just noticed the cloud shadows. That's kind of cool. Are they recovering their forces here? I don't think they have a... They don't have any buildings, do they? Nothing seems to be spawning in for them. Hmm. You know what? This whole time we did have a siege workshop. Maybe I was wrong. I thought you had to construct them in the field, but I guess they also do have the option to just make a building. Oh, but they can only make siege towers and battering rams. I see. I don't think we need this, but just because. Just because I'm curious. Okay, they're gonna come at us again. And they come around the same way. Oh, there's a new tower here! Oh, it burns just as hot as the other ones. <laughs> oh, I want to go back and touch it again. Oh, who would have thought? <laughs> They're so silly. You guys, come on. Come on now. Hey, they're really into the temperature play, I guess. I don't know. They love the boiling oil. Okay, with this small army, I think we will be just fine. Unless they come at me with, like... Tons and tons of heavy cavalry. We will get up there in time. There's been a lot of improvements. <laughs> and more atrocious measures, I approve. 
<laughs> yes, we have boiling oil now. Pretty fun. Pretty great. Horrible, actually. Could you imagine dying that way? Like, to be encased in metal armor, first of all, so that heat would conduct real nice. It would hurt! Yay, we did it! The French army had repelled Charles of Navarre, stemmed the revolt, and held back the raids of the Routier. In the struggle for control over France's lands, the king still clung to power. That took a lot longer than I expected it to. We even stopped to break for dinner. <laughs> You're still going! Of course I am, Mac. Of course I am. Yay, we did it! Woo! Let's continue. With I have plenty of time. I'm, I have like the whole night Russia, open. King Charles V faced one last threat to France. The relentless English I mean, invaders. I might stop after this though. Arrived, but the English army was weak and scattered, divided by infighting. The king quickly directed his army to chase down the old enemy of France at Pont Valin. What if bedtime? Oh, but like are you going to bed? Good night. Night, night, honey, have sweet dreams. Sweet dreams of conquest and blue units versus red units. <laughs> and hello, Video City. I am having a fun stream. Thank you for stopping by. I believe this is your first time. Hi, honey. Max says, I was just surprised. You worked too hard, my lord. But if I'm having fun, is it really work? Hmm? <laughs> Are these cannons? Does, does my eyes deceive me, or is that a big bang a boom tube? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, I need to push button. You don't have to say it like that, but thanks. <laughs> I talk to everyone like that, honey. The French town of Pontvalin lay directly in the path of marauding English soldiers on the hunt for loot. The town's only hope of survival lay with the French forces camped nearby. The French quickly prepared to ambush the disorganized English raiders and defend Pontvalin from ruin. Yeah, hooray, woo! I don't know what we're cheering for. Okay. Is this a, is this a wave defense? Is that what this is? I don't like that. That's scary. What is this? A traitor. Traders generate gold when assigned to trade at the trade post. Another player's market. Well, I don't think we have allies. Do we? Wait, are you an ally? Are... Oh, the English army has arrived. They pause to rest beyond the town before launching their raid. <gasps> oh my god! It's the English! <gasps> oh. Whoa. You look so cool though. Can I just say, I love your armored horses. They look really cool. Okay, hello there. So, so we have like 15 and a half. Hello there. Hello there. Thank you for your soul. Thank you for your soul! <laughs> so, I don't know even where to begin. On this quest. 
I have no idea. You know what we should do? You know what we should do is probably have upgrade to hardened. You have your spearmen and then you have your hardened spearmen, honey. <laughs> now they are ready. They are ready to go. We need... We need wood. If we're gonna have spears... Honey, we need wood. We need so much wood. Okay. Um, that? We're gonna need gold as well. Hardened spearmen, you say? Uh, that? Listen, I didn't say it. I didn't... The developers decided that these would be called hardened spearmen. <laughs> that's what that's just what they are. <laughs> hey, double the rate at which they chop down trees. Yeah, you said okay, I guess I said it. I said it, but I didn't invent it. <laughs> I love a good phalanx maneuver. <laughs> oh my god. I just I'm just imagining like you're in a situation, right, where someone is like kind of flirting with you or whatever. I love a good phalanx maneuver. <laughs> oh, that would be so nerdy. <laughs> oh. Okay, we need more barracks as well. I think we do. What are you guys doing? You're all like... The first group of English raiders began their attacks on the outlying farms. <gasps> After destroying the farms, they would attack the town of pont -Vallin. Oh. Oh no. How am I supposed to defeat them? I don't have... I don't think my ally does... They don't even have any troops. You guys are so lazy! Wow, you have that. Cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, it's a great tact. <laughs> you know what this say? When in doubt, phalanx maneuver! Woo! I don't know though, what about the testudo? What about the attacking Testudo? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Referencing Fire Emblem again, there's a soldier character I love. I always lovingly refer to as my one woman phalanx when I put her in Vanguard. Oh, I love that. The one woman phalanx. You know what I think it is? I have all my villagers set to the thing and not to the trees. <laughs> Stop! Okay. Um, you need to be not dumb. Here. Do something that's not dumb. Okay. How do I even stop these raiding parties? Hmm? How? How long until we get... I don't... I don't think that's a thing. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Oh. Ah. Oh! I see you were making a joke. You were making a funny gunpowder. Because gunpowder historically was like, oh, we're trying to make an elixir of living forever for my lord. And all the sages and all the scholars were just like throwing things in, in, into pots and pans like, oh, make a potion and then they made it boom yes that was the reference i see <laughs> i 
I need more. I need more spearmen. I need more hardened spearmen. Gunpowder? Why not fun powder? <laughs> fun powder? Why not boom candy? <laughs> That's what I called it in Half-Life, and I... I actually picked that up from the Black Mesa remake because... Because they called the shotgun shells boom candy. And I was like, you know, that's funny. That is darkly humorous. Um, do we need archers? I think maybe. I think archers would be good. But I don't know. Defeat the raiding parties. There's More three of them. English raiders arrived and made their way towards Pontval. Why? Not boom. No boom. -a. Boom. -a. With an M. With an M. I know I have a problem where I don't enunciate all the time. I try hard. <laughs> I try hard. <laughs> huh. Gonna make an OC for your rings called Lance Spearman. Oh. <laughs> Not the boob candy, no. Not the boob, uh, no, the boom. Oh my god! I wasn't paying attention. You'd think that these spearmen would be, like, you know, using their hearing organs on the side of their head to be like, oh, huh. oh it sounds like, uh, sounds like things are happening. What's happening over there? Alonzi. Maybe this isn't going to be so bad because if they're just attacking in small waves, you're fine. I'll be fine. The music is so peaceful, you know, for what's happening. Get them! Get them! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no! Come on, reinforcements! What are you doing? Stop! Oh shit! Run away! Stop them! Oh dear, oh dearly beloved, oh. They're running away. We have them on the run. Oh shit, nope. They were just backing up for a charge. That's... I think you guys are dead. You're dead. <laughs> Enjoy your death. Okay, well. That was interesting. Interesting experiment there. I do think we need that. And this. And an arsenal. Do we have an arsenal? We need an arsenal. 
The Chamber of Commerce? No, we don't need that. More scattered English raiders arrived and made their way towards Ponvala. No. Stop. I don't have an arsenal. I can't make an arsenal. But I want one! Oh, whoa, whoa. It's the next stage. We need much more food. We need much more gold. Sadly, Lance Spearman doesn't have ears to listen with. <laughs> he lost them in the war. Oh no, that's so sad. That is so sad. You're giving you're giving them lore. You're giving them background. You give me attached to them. Okay. This is good, right? This is good. I think this is good. At least they're trying. They have some units. They're scattered everywhere in really weird ways. But they have some. I've arrived with more hardened spearmen! Imagine being that one guy. I think I would have ran away. You know? If I were a single knight surrounded by hardened spearmen, with these just long iron shafts all pointed at me in every direction. I think I would run. But that's just me. Get them! Stabby, stabby. Get him! Ugh! Would you have run though? Absolutely. Of course. Of course. What are you- what are you implying? What are you implying? Are you implying that I would be into that? Get them! Man, the heavy cavalry. Do we have reinforcements, please? Please, Senpai. Please, Senpai. Man. Hey, they might actually make it. Hooray! Huzzah! I did it. Alonzi! 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 Okay. Now. Sending all available units to the place! To the port, Valone, whatever it's called. <laughs> Lance Spearman communicates with ASL. Advanced Spear Lunges Mac. <laughs> oh. You get a laugh track for that one. Oh no. Like, at first, I was like, 
oh no, this is a bad joke. I'm gonna feel bad for laughing, but then, <laughs> then, then you, then you came through at the end. Have I heard of that? Yes, I have. I have. I just don't know. I just didn't know what relation it bore to anything, so I wasn't sure. How do we respond? The English army <laughs> chose their moment and began to close in on Pontvalar. I know. Very unpleasant. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so now they're gonna come at me. There's three of them. Oh. Oh. Are they all mixed units? We got infantry bowmen. We got cav infantry bowmen. And then infantry bowmen. Ah, no! Oh no, I'm fucked in all directions! Oh shit! Well, I'll have you know that I don't have any heavy cavalry, and maybe I should have. Maybe I should have invested in some. But you know why I didn't? I'll tell you why. It's because I don't have any gold. That's why. That's my excuse. What am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you? What am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up that you're okay? I can't even use my market. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just continue making caravans? Is that what they want me to do? Is that how you make money in this scenario? Uh, the Chamber of Commerce? Is that? Maybe. Sell, 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 sell! The market is hot. They want wood, and I can provide the wood. Okay. There. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you take risks every day to be mildly funny. Good for you, honey. Good soldier! Yeah, that's, this is why you are amongst my most valued soldiers. It's not like you had a good beat going there, that's... <laughs> it was a reference. You know? You know the, the script, honey? You know? When a heart breaks, it don't break even. What am I supposed to do when I'm older? You know? <laughs> Boy, I, I will say, Duo, you might want to dial it back a little bit. Some of those, some of those quote unquote jokes are a little, little yikes. <laughs> a little bit, a little skirting close to my limit there. Oh my god, we're losing everything! Uh-oh. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Ah! You broke my sword. Damn. Mission filed. We'll get him next time. Oh no! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna quit, okay. Well, can I? What I wanna do is I wanna try something that's easier. I wanna do something easier, okay? I wanna do something that's not so hard cause that is kind of hard. Why is the game frozen? Huh? 
There we go. Hmm. What should we do? The Mongol Empire. The Mongol army made a thunderous arrival. They would test their tactics, flex their might against an unsuspecting new enemy. The Rus. Oh, wow. And then, then, then there's like a scenario for the Great Wall of China. Wow. Then... Hungary? Whoa. Cool! We could play on the other side. The other side of Ghost of Tsushima. There's also the Normans here. Two heavyweight kings found face to face to decide the fate of Normandy. We could do that. Let's see how hard this is. William the Conqueror's sons had resolved their long feud over Normandy with King Henry resting possession away from his brother. But the French King Louis VI would not accept Henry's heir as the future Duke of Normandy. Henry's fragile power would face its first test, an invasion by the French King. The Battle of Bremolet. Oh. It's gonna be super hard. Regardless of the outcome, I do think this will be the last, uh, the last one of the night. And as a reminder, I'm streaming again tomorrow. If you're wondering, if you're like, this SoCar guy, is he gonna, when, when is he gonna stream again? I'm streaming again tomorrow. Yep. I'm gonna be playing Small Land. It's a game that is about being super small. Super, super small. The Battle of Crème Brûlée. <laughs> I love it. Gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. At the head of the vast army stood King Louis of France himself. The Battle of Crème Brûlée. I must have missed that day in history class. To defend his borders. Hearing of the threat, villagers and guards fled their English-held town. How nice meeting you. Have fun stream. Stay awesome. Thank you for being here, Video City. It was an honor to get to meet you, honey, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a good night. Mwah. Okay. English forces in Normandy had been commanded to hold the town of Fleury and await King Henry's arrival. Okay, hold Fleury until King Henry arrives. Okay. Do I need to be actively making things happen here? Do I? Because I don't have many resources at all, actually. Actually, though, not much. These horsemen are so light. They're so light. Why are you giving me? Village of Crescentville fell. All English hopes lay in holding Fleury for the king's arrival. Okay, well. Grainville. What do you think they produce in Grainville? I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know what units I'm supposed to be building. Um, I haven't been building anything. We need stable, stable. 
300 gold? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh lord, they coming. <gasps> oh. Oh no! Oh no! You had to take the culinary arts emphasis instead of the military arts. <laughs> yes. Whoa, they're glowing. They have been chosen. Okay, well. We have 300 gold now. O requires castle age. The town of Granville succumbed to the French, and the English were pushed back towards Fleury. Why? That's dumb. Where's my oh my where'd my villagers go? And you were Huh. Where could they be? Where, where, where? Here. Oh my goodness, it's so much food. Go mine some gold. Uh. Did you see the trouble of verifying to get into the Discord? Yes, you do. You have to verify. I do that to make sure. To make sure. That everyone in there is Gucci. Is good to go. I've uh, I have seen peers, some peers and and uh, their servers in hand. The things that they've dealt with. It, it, it means a lot in the long run. Huh. Oh my god! Hold the line! Hold the line! What are you? You're just scouts. You think Age of Empires that creates resources very slow. We need to do a lot of research to make it faster. Hey, you know, you might be onto something. You might be, you know, you might be thinking. You might be gaming, actually. Unlike me. Oh shit. Uh oh. 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 Oh! Oh, it's Mr. Henry! <laughs> you might be gaming in this economy! I don't know, honey. We do our best. Get him out of here! Get out of here! Get! Come on! There we go. We did it! Woo! Knowing that King Louis himself was on the field, Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. Capture Greenville! Okay. Sure. Sure. You want me to press the F keys? Yes, sir. You want me to press my F keys? I don't want to do that, because if I press my F keys, I'll start turning toggles on and off. 
I don't want to do that. <gasps> Louis is here. <gasps> You're making me fight my lover. No. My sweet, my sweet boy Louis. From Code Vein. I didn't know he became a king. What about Alt F4? Ha, 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 ha. Get to try harder than that. What is that toggle? I don't know. Toggle something horrible, a dark, unspeakable power. I don't think you want to see it, honestly. Everything will be swallowed up by the void, consumed in shadow. What am I doing? What are we doing? I want everyone. Go. Bum, bum, bum. Who's fighting? Oh, this one guy. <laughs> Door into darkness. Ah, uh, I see. King Louis, determined to oust the English from Normandy, began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. Oh. Today you saw a horse. Uh, a horse. God, I, I should hope you didn't see a horse at the grocery store. A hearse at the grocery store with a decal that sat hellbound in the window. How oh, wonderful. I feel like there's so many of those kind of things where <laughs> there's so many of those kind of things where they are like King Henry's men oh they the must French be smiling down upon us the from the heavens you know but <laughs> the hellbound decal Take the treasure! It's mine now! <laughs> it was jarring, but like, you know, it's their normal car they drive. It's great. Oh no, they're poking me! They're poking! What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Get up there! King Louis is counterattacking! <gasps> no, not my honey. Not my darling. Okay. There's one asshole back there in the corner. Among us. Okay. Go get him. Go get him. And also, how about reinforce that shit? And also. Wood. And also, this. This is not looking good. This is not a good time. 
Um. Huh. Can I just say? Now I have to rescue my leader. What is that even? What? Why? That's silly. I don't even have enough wood to even build another barracks. Do we have a lumber thing? Do we? No? Oh! Oh, honey. Louis thinks he can defeat you, but you have a Lance Spearman to protect you. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry, but I think that Greenville is no more. Oh no! Goodbye, Greenville. Nice to know you. I, I sure hope that Henry has more reinforcements. Because... Because I don't have them. Bum, bum, bum. Let's try making some men at arms. They got high armor, but slow movement. Did you know that? Now you do. Um, how about we? We need food. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mill, then. Bob. Then we're gonna have farms. Are you are you watching? Boom, 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 boom. Whoa. Each timber fails. Crazy, right? Increase their gathering rates and their carry rates. I love how this, like, very old English, the way that it sounds, it's so funny to me. <laughs> it's like just such a twisted, I don't know. Dark a pick a jargon. Dark a dark. <laughs> Which I guess is because, like, uh, English came from. You know, the Anglo-Saxon culture. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of German and, and such, and some such. Got all mixed in there. A little bit of French, a little bit of German. Dag dag. <laughs> Old English is just simlish. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is, honey. Okay. I keep checking this, think I can make heavy cavalry. And I cannot. Oh no! Here they come again! Lock your doors. Lock your windows. Lock everything. Lock everything. Lock your locks! Oh my god, you're, you're dead. There's no way, you guys. No! Oh. Oh no! <laughs> There's too many! There's too much! So much for high armor. So much for high armor. Now they're coming in. Now they're coming in with the spears and the ram. So impolite. You know? 
You know? Wow. You come in here and you burn my house down. I don't even have enough. Get in the town center. Bing bong. Bing bong. How am I supposed to defeat King Lee's army if, if this is happening? <laughs> Wish I'd studied Simlish instead of early modern English. You know, maybe, maybe you should have. Maybe. You could be unlocking England's, England's deepest mysteries with Simlish. They huff and they puff and they 420 Malaysia houses down. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I have cavalry. I'm gonna poke you. You get poked. Poke! Get out of there! It's on fire! Oh no. They broke my sword. Mission filed. <laughs> well, alternate history. Don't allow Sokar Starfire to be in charge of your civilization because it will come crumbling down. That's what you learned today. Um. Wait. Wait for it. There's the music. There's the calm. <laughs> There's the calm. Time to reflect. Okay. I'm a quit out of the game. It is quite late. You guys got two streams. I think you should feel grateful. You got two streams. It wasn't quite a six hour stream, but you got two whole streams today. Oh, my game volume's still on, isn't it? Okay. Maybe we'll come back to this again? Maybe. Apparently I unlocked some things. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at menus that I could probably be showing you right now, but... Uh, anyways, quit, quit, get me out of here. We're done. We're done, though. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't gonna make the joke, but it is today. Wait a second, you're right. Oh my god, it is April 20th, 420. The most annoying day of the year. Well, maybe not the most annoying, but it is one of the more annoying days because then everyone is constantly, everyone is constantly telling a joke, but you know, that's the first one I've heard today. That's the first one. But I remember like, like back in high school, right? It was just everywhere. <laughs> and you had to pretend like you hadn't heard it yet. Like, ha, 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 ha. Bongo! Bong bongo. I finished my tea. I have been rationing my tea this whole time. Okay. So, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I've been dropping it throughout the stream. I feel like maybe it's helpful to let people know. But I am streaming tomorrow. Okay. We have 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can calculate for other time zones. I really want to start, like, because, like, I know I have some European followers. I've been thinking about, like, being like, blah, 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 Europe time. <laughs> oh. I don't know. 
but anyways it'll be a late stream tomorrow night but i will be streaming small and survive the wild so if you want to survive the wilds at the bottom of the food chain you can do that with me we're gonna be real tiny real real small like little insect people having to survive so well, that'll be fun i'm sure I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you had a good time today. I did. Even if, you know, we took some losses, we took some heavy losses. And I'm very out of practice, obviously, with Age of Empires, because, man, that was a game I used to binge, like, I don't know, 20 years ago? <laughs> Maybe longer. Oh, so, pardon me, you can forgive. I think you could forgive father for being a little bad at this. <laughs> okay, but I hope I was good company for you as much as you were for me, honey, because... <gasps> oh no, that's the music. That means... Oh no, there's the door! <gasps> it means it's time for me to go. Good night to all of you, and be good to yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself, love yourself, and be good to each other, okay? It's Saturday. It's Saturday night, and it's mm, Sunday. The weekend's not over. Have a good weekend. I'll be back tomorrow, though, okay? Bye, honey. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. Bye bye bye. Farewell. Fairly well. Okay, I'm ending the stream now. I'm ending the stream now. Whether you like it or not, I don't know why you're still here. Why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs>